Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Right, can you see, in, with this redstone that we've got right here, you need to very carefully look at the top of the dispenser that is... See, we've got... the, the See the redstone on the, on the floor here? Yeah. Uh, you've got two repeaters. There's, right, there's stuff right in yeah. front of you, not under your feet. And then yeah. there's a comparator in the middle. Yeah. And in front of that is a dispenser. So you want me to try and click on that? And then put the eggs in? Put the eggs in there. Don't fill it right up. Just put, um, like, fill up uh, five or six of the slots. I've done six. That will do for a minute. It's if going fill... fast. Yeah, if you fill it right up, it doesn't like it. It will jam it open. That's why I had to redesign it ever so slightly. Because I didn't realise that it did actually jam it open. Do you want me to put some more in once the as the slot's empty? Uh, let me just drop some of mine in a minute. I'll put a few of mine in here. Like that. And... Yeah, another stack. Right. How many have you got on you? Three more stacks. Right, just wait a little second. Keep it so that there are two stacks empty. Yep. Um, two empty slots, and then just like keep putting the eggs in. We'll do something eventually so that uh, we have like a little bit of a sorter on this, and then see. I'm getting loads of stuff coming through now already. Wheat seeds. Do you want me to come and get some more eggs? I've just picked up another load of eggs. Um, yeah, you could you could get some more as well. Look at the chickens that we got going through. They're all gonna. They're all gonna die. We're gonna get too many chickens going in there, and they're all, yeah, they're already dying. There's just too many chickens going in there at the moment, and they're all dying. Um, is that why they're squawking? Yeah. Right. Hang on a minute. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna break that line a second, and then I'm going to repair it so that we get a new pulse and that will change the stage that the thing is at so all the chickens will wait up there and the chickens down the bottom they will also wait just for a little bit and then i'll actually i won't change the pulse again i'll leave it as it is right that one's empty let me go and dump in to add some more i'm just gonna dump in my eggs yeah I like that this is a slight problem with this one. We're, we're going to need a little bit more redstone with this one. And I, all of this is just is purely so that I've got a machine that doesn't produce cooked chicken and is also highly efficient. And the, the problem is that the cooked chicken. I didn't want it to do cooked chicken. I wanted raw chicken. And killing chickens without cooking them seems to be very, very difficult. So why do you want... Raw chicken instead of cooked chicken? So that I can put the raw chicken into the smelter and then I can get the XP off of it. Oh. It's all part of my dastardly plan. Right, are we doing more eggs? Uh, what have we got in the chest down here? Let's have a look. Oh, we've actually got some space in the chest a little bit. If I kill all those chickens now... Do you want me to do one more lot? None of these chick, all of these chickens are baby chickens. Like if I kill them all now, we're not going to get anything from them. So we'll leave it for now. We won't do any more for a minute because these chickens are all going to die soon anyway if we're not careful. I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to keep going on with. Uh, I just need to put the hoppers in place now and then we can start putting sand and stuff across the top of the cactus farm. Uh, have you got anything you're working on? You um, got? You uh, got... did the trees. Oh, you did um, the trees. So. I've got lots of logs. Uh, lots of logs for you. Right. What we could do with is cactus. Um, not cactus. Uh, we could do with. I'm just gonna put some hoppers in place a minute. Um, what is it that we want? I remember in a minute. Sleep. Uh, sleep. Yes, and fences. We want a whole load of acacia fences. So we ne we need some okay. planks. We need so, some more planks of wood, and we also want a whole load of acacia fences. Okay. 
Um, there is a crafting bench. Just around here. Yeah. I'm hoping I've got enough hoppers to do this. Long line of them all the way up through here. There we go. Right. I think there's enough. See, the glory of this cactus farm is that we can extend it either way. We could, like, double it up and uh, do another great big section going in the opposite direction. Uh, well, that way. So that we can then have another big long line of water. So we, we have all of that line coming into this middle, this center section right here. And then we can have another line coming from that direction going into here. And I'm thinking what I should probably have done is put the hoppers down that line instead of down this line. I think I've put them in the wrong place. It doesn't really matter. It's only if we want to extend this a bit further. It would be better, I think, if the hoppers were in underneath the main wall rather than where I've put them. So I'm what do hoping... you want with the fences? And how many do you want? There. Right. Put those in there. Uh, well, the idea of the fences, I'll show you. We... we Basically, you've got to put them in between all of the blocks up in the air. You got a couple there? Uh, yeah. Ooh. I've got nearly three stacks. Have you tried jumping on a bed? No. Stand on that bed. Now jump. What? Just, just jump once. Oh. Oh, yeah. Bouncy. You can actually bounce on the bed. That is so That's cool. That's good. Right. Um, Trust you to find that out. Well, I was just standing there. You know, if you've got a, if you've got a bed in front of you, you've got to jump on it. It's, it's just the law. Right. So what we want to do now is we need to put a sand block on top of each of these, which I can do. And because I've got the sand, you know. And then we want the acacia fence. Ignore the block that's directly. Actually, we're going to also want to do that as well. So you want the acacia fence to come out and down like that. And then that top bit, we don't want fence there. We just want fence here. Right. And no, we don't want to go up higher, I don't think. Because I think cactus will sit on top of the... Actually, you know what? I don't know. So extend the fence out in a line like this. This is going to be the constant curse of doing this job is falling off these blocks. It's going to test our parkour skills beyond anything we have ever known. We Me need Jacob for this. Climb out on here. Over like that. Yeah, see? Now, once we've done that, we then need to remove some of these fences. And it's... You come over here. I don't want to cause offence. Ah. Oh. I know it's brilliant, isn't it? And then we got to remove every other one like that, so that Is you it just the one between the blocks you're removing. Yeah, the one in the diagonal corner. So you got the one sort of next to it, and then we want to do the same again down the next line. Okay. And we want to basically just do this same kind of pattern all the way down through on all of them. In the meantime, I'm going to get to work on, at the moment, putting sand blocks down on top of each of these. I won't put the cactus plants in place just yet. I'll put the sand in place. Because it might be easier with the sand there to do the fences. Yeah. Like that. Because cactus will only grow on sand. So... Basically, what this cactus farm is, for anybody that doesn't know, it's not just so that we can get masses and masses of cactus, which all you can really use a cactus for is, a, you know, the actual plant for, like, a, 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 a bin, or you can use the uh, plant and you can smelt it into green dye. We don't need that much green dye, right? We do not need tons and tons of green dye. But... Every time you smelt a cactus plant, you get XP for it. So you can store it in the hoppers. We can just install a switch next to the hopper that is coming off the furnace. The bamboo farm there will provide fuel for the furnaces for the cactus farm. And then we will, once we've uh, done that bit, 
will then be able to go and get the XP off of it. So this is essentially a big XP farm. You don't need to go and build massive XP farms in the nether with Enderman or anything like that anymore. Uh, you can do it all with just a simple cactus farm, which is really, really cool. Um, although it was fun building the Enderman farm. Time consuming when we did. Do you remember building that one, Sen? Uh, yeah. Yeah, time consuming process, but, you know, the Enderman farm was cool. And you could still do that for getting ender pearls, but you don't need to anymore. Like, none, none of that is now needed. You can just sort of do nice, simple job like this. Build a cactus farm and then smelt all of the cactus plants that you get from it. And everything is tickety boo and hunky dory. So I'm just going to jump across there and I'm going to keep that fence line coming all the way back up through here like this to it's got to go to that point right there so we want it to go right to there now i'll go back through and i will remove the excess fences like this and then all we got to do is repeat that right across the whole thing and you probably notice now that i said you know we could easily double up the size of this cactus farm because we could just do the same going out that direction coming uh, back i think through. i've done it wrong have you just follow my pattern here. What well, could I go thought wrong? I did. That's fine. They're uh, above, aren't they? Oh, oh. That's right. And then. Hang on. So, wait. Yeah, that's where I went wrong. Oh, I see. Right. Put one on there. And we take that one off. Job done. Right. And, and we just make the lines go all the way back down through. And then tidy it all up afterwards. So, once we've got all of this one in place, we do have the potential to go and expand it out by quite a long way. It should be fairly simple to go and expand it out. Even though I've kind of got the hoppers in the wrong place underneath the floor there, I don't think that's really going to affect it. And we can expand it that way as much as we want. And we can also expand it that way as much as we want. And then we'll bring it all back to a smelting room here, which is fairly close to where the bamboo farm is, which I'm going to extend. I'd like that bamboo farm to be a bit bigger. But I think before I worry about extending the bamboo farm, I will... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come up here... And I'm going to go to that bit of fence there. And I'm going to just run a line of fence all the way back across. And then I'll come back up afterwards and I will dig off all of the... Um, uh, I'll cut down all of the excess pieces that we don't want. So we're going to put that one through there like that. And you there. And so... We can kind of make this as big as we think that we're going to need because it sort of depends how much XP we get out of it. If we find that we're not getting much XP off of this, then we can double it out. If we find that we're still not getting much XP, we can double it out again and so on and so forth. It just takes a bit of time to build it, that's all. So once we get the hang of it, that'll be nice and easy. But it's a fairly easy farm to do as well. I think that the joy of a cactus farm... It's very passive. There's no mechanical parts in it other than, well, it's, it's not even particularly mechanical. The, the, the gathering part where we're gathering up the all of the components uh, or all of the bits of um, cactus that drop because it's just hoppers. We, we just got a line of hoppers there. I know there are other ways of doing it. Like if I was clever with the water and I had that going through in a particular way, and getting the water flowing in a set direction, I wouldn't need so many hoppers. But quite frankly, I'm not too worried about that because the hoppers require iron and we're going to be building an iron farm very soon. So that's one of the next things on our list. We've got a load of villagers now. So we're able to go and do these things. Everything is coming together nicely. The only thing that we still need to do is get the slimes and maybe some honey so that we can build our next kind of epic machine which is going to be the tnt explosive device that we're going to be using for mining our way around everything else right there's one line that i want to do down through the middle here 
Would you be able to get a bit of sleep, please, then? Yeah. And then we can finish this up. So I've done that last line down through there. And then I want to take these out. So, oops, fell in the water again. I'm as bad as Sen falling in the water. I, we have had a bit of feedback about the should we have the keep inventory or not. Some of you said yes, we should put keep inventory on because with Sen um, sort of falling and stuff, uh, it's not technically her fault. It's because of her MS. Um, others have said that yes, we could adapt to it and sort of make changes so that um, like we, we try and get more fire resistant stuff if we're going through lava or something like that and or just like have the valuables being carried by myself rather than sent. We'll see how it goes, basically. At the moment, we'll leave it as it is. We won't have the keep inventory. We will just keep it as it is. So it's a bit of a challenge. And then we will kind of see after that. Uh, this is where I tell Sen that we didn't actually have to put these on every single one. Uh, what? Like we've done. Because what you can do... Well, what some people do, Sen, is they put them on all four sides. I just put them in long lines, like that. Um, but you could just put them on every other line and it would still be enough to touch every single cactus plant. But I like to have them like this because the next thing that I want to do is... Uh, well, I want to put a torch on top of each one of these pillars. So that we've got a great big shining beacon of torches everywhere, but I'm just kind of wondering what the best way to do that is. I don't have any scaffolding on me at the moment. I've gone and left it all behind. Do you want me to get some? Uh, well, no, we can just like put dirt blocks or um, something like that down. Um, I've got spare sand, so we can put down some dirt blocks and then we can like start putting torches down on top of all of these. And the reason I want torches on top of all of these is because, well, one, it keeps it all lit up, but two, it looks cool. I mean, we could go and use something other than torches. But we don't really have much other than torches at the moment. So we'll, we'll stick with torches just for now. Okay, there is another way that you can do it. Rather than putting down a, a block, you just go up against the pillar and then jump. So I can go like that and then jump like that. But, uh, but you, have you to keep do it. missing. Yeah, you, you have to do it a couple of times and it's, it's easy to miss. You can reach quite a few though. Ah, oh, I keep falling in. Yeah. Um, you can reach quite a few. Did it again? Takes a while. <laughs> I want well, to get off on top of there. Right. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the whole jumpy jumpy thing very much. I'm going to um start putting blocks down in a minute. I just want to jump on these few here, so that I can get those done. And then if I go up this way. Yeah, that well, that worked out well, didn't it? Yes, that 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 was wonderful, right? And I got to go back this way. We'll we'll start the test soon. We will soon soon start the test, and then I want to have a look at that one and decide exactly how I'm going to do that. I think what we'll do is we'll remove that timer and we'll put it onto a a daylight sensor switch so that it goes once a day and then triggers everything. We can let the if I put some lights in the ceiling up there, it will light up the bamboo at a higher level. So then we get more of it drop and, and so on and so forth. So it, it should work. We'll see, though. I'm not, I'm not going to hold my breath on it, but I, I'm kind of hoping that it, it, it does work well. Uh, I want to go... I feel like we should have done the top level or levels before doing the bottom levels. What, before putting all the water in? Yeah, before having a nice deep thing to fall into and then have to try and get out of. I know, doesn't of seem these... like a sensible idea. No, it really doesn't, does it? I don't know why you didn't stop me from doing this stupid idea in the first place. Oh, my fault. Well, yeah. You're the one that's supposed to keep control of me. This is what everybody says. I no longer get people telling me that they like watching Frithgar's channel. I now get people saying that they really like watching Sen's channel. Um, and it's it's nice when, you know, it, it is good that Frith can come along and be a guest appearance on your channel every now and then, but they're here for you. Really? Yeah. 
Alright, I, I get these comments all the time. This is now your channel, apparently. So if I do something stupid, it's your fault. I'm not sure that's right. I, yeah, that's, that's uh, how it works. I don't think so. So if, if your, I make... Your name's still on the channel. Uh, we can change that. Can we? Yep. And then, it will, then it really will be your fault. One over there. No, we've, we've missed one. There's one missing over there. Right, let me uh, take that one out. Over here. Over here. And there it is. This one I'm going to do the old jump and place. So have we got to do the blocks yet? Above. Um, I was wondering about that. I don't think we will at the moment. Well, mainly because I don't have the cactus plants. If we were to do the ones above, it's basically uh, just to extend the farm upwards so okay. that we can do another layer of the farm um higher up than this rather so than extending it outwards that. so we don't have to do that okay um let's just make sure that we have indeed got torches on everything let me put down a couple blocks and just have a little look okay that's looking pretty cool it looks like there's one there that we don't have a block on. Don't have a, a torch on. I'm going to go over to that one. So what's next? Side. Now I'm going to put down the cactus plants. Uh, there. Right. So the cactus plants, you put one on each block. Nice and simple. And then they start growing. And as they grow, as soon as they grow, they break because they can't uh, grow next to the um, thingies that we've got. The posts. The fences being in the way stop the cactus from growing. And so then they, um, they, they immediately they grow and then they break. So they basically they grow, then they do a check realize that they can't be growing there and then they break and it's just the top one that breaks off so it's a completely passive operation you don't have to do anything so they're there's doing no... all the work for you yep there's no redstone mechanic involved with harvesting it you just wait for a cactus to grow it breaks it drops down into the water below and then it gets picked up so the only thing that we're going to want to do now is just make the side a little bit higher so that oops All right what the wall around the edge yeah we're going to want to make the wall a little bit higher around the edge just so that we can um like make everything work properly uh we, we don't lose bits of cactus plant um like going out over the sides so i was wondering about doing it with glass so then we can clearly see what's going we on we do inside. have a lot of glass yeah so I mean, we could do it with glass. Yeah, okay. We could do it with glass panes as well, because then they'll go a lot further, and it means that we don't have to go back to the desert quite so quickly. There's always a bit of a, um, a a bit of a trek. I don't think I've got any more cactus plants anywhere. Oops. The only well, I guess we can always just leave a doorway or something in so that we can get in. The other thing that I was going to do was change this over. Now, if we go and have a look in here, we should still have the minecart should still be running. That goes up to that side and it goes over. So it drops into here. With This is completely full now. And the hoppers are filling up as well. So we've got this now completely full. And I have found out a bit about the bamboo as well. Um, four pieces of bamboo to burn are required to burn one item. They burn one quarter of an item each, each piece of bamboo. So we have to sort of keep that in mind. You need quite a bit of bamboo in order to make this work properly. If I have a look in here, I've got one block of dirt there. i got the fences that we kicked off. So far, we have no cactus plants have actually grown. But the bigger the farm gets, the more likely we are to have one trigger and then... Tr there! One just went. Right there. Did that fall in? Well, I don't see it here. Okay. 
Now I'm curious. What happened to that now one? Now you're worried. Yeah, where did it go? The the thing that I'm concerned about is that it might have gone against a neighbouring cactus plant and broke and, and destroyed. Because if you chuck a block into a cactus plant, it just gets destroyed. Like that. See? So, oh! Huh. Maybe that is why, like, if I... I'm just wondering about the fences. Because I'm pretty sure that cactus plant just broke. Would you better go and get some sleep a second, Sen? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, hang on. Um, because, like, you... right, well, I, do, I really didn't want to do that. So, do you think it's wrong? Well, I'm, I'm hoping it's not wrong. I've been stood here for a little while just watching the cactus farm, and it does actually seem to be working properly. Everything is in place. Everything seems to be coming along very, very nicely, which is very, very cool. But occasionally, we're getting, uh, like, a cactus will break, and it will land on top of the cactus plant, and then it seems to destroy it. I didn't know that cactus destroyed itself. But, I mean, other than that, there goes one. See, there it goes. See, it went down through there, and then it goes into the hoppers in the bottom. So this is now working. This is working properly. All we need to do is build a glass wall around the edge so that the outside edge cactus plants don't sort of get launched outside of the farm. And that's about it. We just leave it to it. Uh, so we're, we're going to need a load of glass. We've got um, glass. I've got lots of glass. Um, yeah, so th that'll be all right. We'll have to put but... a door on here somewhere. So, well, here, where I am? Uh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Just stick a door there. Well, actually, yeah, I, I guess put a door there like that. I'm, I'm not quite sure. It's basically so that we could, uh, although once I've got a few extra cactus plants in place and I've put them all in here, there's no reason for us to come back in. So just a door somewhere on the side and then I think glass I think it's only here because it's right next to... Yeah, um, there's... Nothing in there where any mobs can spawn other than the gla the sand blocks, which I want to cover up with cac more cactus plants in a minute. Um, so where am it. I putting the glass? Is that on top of this? On top of the wall. And we're going to want to go up, I would say, four blocks high. Okay. That's, that's what I think we'll do. Um See, I was thinking of going up and, like, doing another layer above this of Cactus Farm. I don't know if that would work or not. I guess it probably would, because the cactus does grow up to a block, like, if there's a place block above it. So we leave one layer clear, and then we go up again, and we do another line, uh, you know, another layer exactly like we've got right now. And then that would sort of double it up. Do we really need that much, though? Well, at the moment, we won't. The, re the reason for the cactus farm is not for... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.